never know exactly what they want to do and some people need time to figure it out. I just finished my O-Levels at Sec 5 and I am figuring out what's next. Today, I am meeting Miss Christine to learn about her educational journey. Hi Christine, nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you, Geraldine. So now you are back at your alma mater. Does it bring back any memories or emotions for you? So firstly, the, the school looks very different. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of things have changed. Mm -hmm. So I, I do have a number of um, good memories of the school. You know, very good teachers that I had, good friends, and started to help out in, in the alumni. I heard you got your O-level results and you were at a crossroad. So how did you decide your path? So I had four classes in O-levels, um, but my maths was F9. Mm -hmm. So my initial plan was to do legal studies in the Polytechnic, but um, because of the F9 in maths, I couldn't qualify for it. How did you feel about it? I was actually very devastated. I was just really overcome with grief because at that moment, it was the most important thing for a student. So I looked at the available options to me at that time. Then I decided to look at engineering courses in ITE because I have a very strong fear of maths and I knew I had to overcome it. So when I went to ITE and I took up precision engineering, it provided a very um, strong foundation for mathematical concepts and I had to seek additional help from my lecturers who were actually very, very nice. And then uh, that was for two years and then I went on to higher NITEC in mechanical engineering for another two years and then I did my technical engineer diploma um, for two and a half years. So why did you decide to take a degree? Not one, but two. The first one I did was a business degree. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was necessary for me. The reason I took the second degree was really out of curiosity and you know I wanted to learn. I was actually interested in reading judgments that were handed by the court. So I was very interested in reading legal cases. But what was your biggest struggle? The biggest struggle for me was having the realisation that I would not be able to be a perfect, honest student. <laughs> Even during my second degree, I was always an average. Do you feel overwhelmed? I think when times get tough, it's normal to feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the number of things you have to do on your list. Study module, do assignment, finish my work, cook for the children, fetch the children, and then repeat the whole thing all over again. I know that I have to do them, but I just go forward and I just do it. During my first degree, I was pregnant. Halfway through the degree, I actually stopped for some time. So, but the good thing is I've got family support to actually help me, um, you know, look after them also. Uh, at times where I need to really focus on my studies and my work. Looking back at your journey, it was difficult. But do you regret it? Um, in all honesty, no. I do not regret it at all. Your entire life success is not going to hinge on that one decision that you made or that thing that you did or you didn't do. Because there are many paths, there are many facets to success. Mm -hmm. I think what I would tell my 17-year-old self is that life is going to be an adventure. So right now, I'm considering different opportunities. Right. So, do you think I should work a job that brings me happiness and joy, but I don't earn that much? Or a job I don't like, but I earn quite recently? Yeah. I think there has to be a balance. It's not something that you want to drag yourself every day to work having worked for 15 years. I'm going to be counter-cultural here because people are going to say, follow your passion. I'm going to say that, no, I wanted to play the guitar and sing. Mm -hmm. But I did not pursue that path. Do something that is comfortable with you. It may not be your passion, right? But when you do something long enough, you actually can grow to love it. Once you do it, you learn it, and then you get a hang of it, and you become better at it. Mm -hmm. You become very good at it, and you excel in it. Then it becomes your passion. Doing half hour Miss Christine has progressed in life made me realise I have time to think about what I want to do in the future. I should persevere on and continue moving forward.